Hi everyone. Today's topic is large numbers. In this chapter, we are going to learn the concepts place value and face value, expanded form, Indian and international system of numeration, rounding numbers, Hindu Arabic and Roman numerals. Let us see place value and face value. The place value of the digit changes according to the place it occupies. Place value of a digit remains the same at all the places. The place value of a digit depends on the place where it is. Whereas, face value of a digit will never change. It will be same. In whatever place it may be, the face value of a digit will never change. But the place value of a digit depends on the place where it is. Here, we are given a number 85. 5 is in 1's place. 8 is in 10's place. Face value of 8 is 8 only. It may be in 10's place, but face value of 8 is 8 only. Its value will never change. And place value of 8 is 8. Why? Because 8 is in 10's place. So place value of 8 is 8 into 10, which is equal to 8. Next, face value and place value both are 5. Here, 5 is in 1's place. So place value of 5 is 5 into 1, which is equal to 5. And face value of 5 is 5 itself. So here, face value and place value both are 5 only. There are 8 tens and 5 ones in 85. Let us see another example. Here we are given a number 53,046. The place value of 6 is 6 into 1, which is equal to 6. Because 6 is in 1's place, the place value of 6 is 6 into 1, which is equal to 6. Whereas, face value of 6 is 6. Next. Place value of 4 is 4 into 10. Because 4 is in 10's place, the place value of 4 is 4 into 10, which is equal to 40. And the face value of 4 is 4 itself. Next. Place value of 0 is 0 into 100 because 0 is in 100's place place value of 0 is 0 into 100 which is equal to 0 whereas face value of 0 is 0 itself only. Next, 3. The place value of 3 is 3 into 1000 which is equal to 3000 because 3 is in 1000's place place value of 3 is 3 into 1000 which is equal to 3000 whereas face value of 3 is 3 itself. Next, the place value of 5 is 5 into 10,000 which is equal to 50,000 because 5 is in 10,000's place. Place value of 5 is 5 into 10,000 which is equal to 50,000 whereas face value of 5 is 5 itself. Let us see one more example. Here we are having a number 25,486. In this, the face value of 5 is 5 itself whereas place value of 5 is as 5 is lying in thousands place place value of 5 is 5 into 1000 which is equal to 5000 next how to write a given number in expanded form writing numbers in expanded form to write the given numbers in expanded form we write as the value of a number using the face value and place value of each digit using the place value and face value of each digit We'll write the given number in expanded form. Here we are given an example 4856. 4 is in thousands place, so 4000 plus 8 is in hundreds place, so 800 plus 5 is in tens place, so 50. 6 is in ones place, so plus 6. Here again, because 4 is in thousands place, we write it as 4 into 1000 plus 8 is in hundreds place, we write it as 8 into 100. Plus 5 is in 10's place, so we write it as 5 into 10. Plus 6 is in 1's place, we write it as 6 into 1. In this way, we'll write the expanded form of a given number. Next, Indian and international system of numeration. Here, we are going to learn about two systems of numeration. One is Indian system and another is international system. As the name itself represents Indian number system, it is valid only in India. Whereas international system, it is valid throughout the world. So, we are going to learn about two number systems. One is Indian number system and another is international system of numeration. Here, in Indian number system, we are having units period, thousands period, lakhs period and crores period. In units period, we are having three place values, ones, tens and hundreds. In thousands period, we are having 
two place values thousands ten thousands in lakhs period we are having two place values lakhs and ten lakhs in crores period we are having two place values crores and ten crores here we can notice that only the units period is having three place values and remaining all are having only two place values but whereas in whereas in international system of numeration we are having units period thousands period millions period and in each period we are having three place values in units period we are having ones tens hundreds and in thousands period we are having thousands ten thousands hundred thousands in millions period we are having millions ten millions and hundred millions we can see here that each and every period is having three place values whereas in indian system only units period is having three place values and remaining all are having two place values next let us see indian system of numeration international system of numeration using some examples here first we are given a number 7654192 we are given a number 7654192 we'll write it in indian system we'll separate this number first with commas starting from the right side after three digits we'll put a comma and for every two digits we'll put a comma like this and we'll read it as 76 lakh 54192 whereas in international system starting from the back for every three digits we'll put a comma One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. Like this, and we'll read it as seven million six hundred and fifty-four thousand one hundred and ninety-two. Let us see another example. Here we are given a number six nine two eight one five two seven. In Indian system, only the last three digits will put a comma, and for every two digits will put a comma like this. After the last three digits, put a comma, and for every two digits, put a comma like this. Next, we'll read it as six crore ninety two lakh eighty one thousand five hundred and twenty seven. Whereas in international system, for every three three digits, we'll put a comma like this, and we'll read it as sixty nine million two hundred eighty one thousand five hundred and twenty seven. Like this, we'll do all these examples. Comparison between Indian system and international system. In Indian system, ten lakhs is equal to one million. In international system, similarly, one crore in Indian system is equal to ten millions. In international system, one lakh in Indian system is equal to hundred thousand. In international system, ten crore in Indian system is equal to hundred million. In international system, let us see another example. In Indian system, if we say fifty lakhs, in international system, if we say five million, both are same. No need to say that they are wrong. In Indian system, we'll Use the word lakhs, but whereas in international system we'll use the word millions. Let us recap about Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration. As we discussed, only one period is having three place values, whereas remaining all are having only two place values. One period is having ones, tens, hundreds. Thousand period is having thousands, ten thousands. Lakh period is having lakhs, ten lakhs. Crore period is having crores and ten crores. Whereas in international system of numeration, we are having each period is having three place values: ones period, thousands period, millions, billions, trillions, and so on. It will. And in ones period, we are having units, tens, hundreds. In thousands period, we are having thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. In millions period, we are having millions, ten millions, hundred. Here only ones period is having three place values: ones, tens, and hundreds. And next remaining all are having three place values. Whereas in Indian system, only two place values are there in each period. Next, let us learn the rounding concept with the help of a rhyme. Five to nine, climb the vine. Zero to four, slide to the floor. If the number lies between five to nine, we have to round upwards. And if the number lies between zero to four, we have to round downwards. Here, eighty-eight. In eighty-eight, here eight lies between five to nine, so we have to climb upwards. Eighty-eight rounded upwards is ninety. The same way, here we are having a number sixty-three. Three lies between zero to four, so we have to slide 
downwards. 63 slided downwards, rounded downwards is 60. Let us see how to round numbers using place value. These are the steps which we have to follow to round the numbers using place value. Let us see the steps with the help of an example. Here an example is given. Round 634 to the nearest 10. First step is underline the digit in the rounding place. Here we are asked to round to the nearest 10. So we have to underline the digit in the tens place. The digit in the tens place is 3. So we have underlined 3. Next. Circle the next digit to the right. We have to circle the digit which is to the right of underlined digit that is 4. The third step is follow the rounding rules. 4 or less let it rest. Here the circle digit is 4. So we have to let it rest. Means in the place of 4 we will write 0 and the tens place number will not change. It will remain as it is. So 634 rounded to nearest 10 is 630. Rounding off. Less than half, round down. Half or more than, round up. So here if the number is less than half, we have to round downwards. And if the number is half or more than half, we have to round upwards. So here 34 and here 4. 4 is less than half. So we will round downwards. 34 rounded downwards is 30. Next 9.40. 9.40 is also less than half. So we have to round downwards. 9.40 rounded downwards is 9. 1. Here 1 low is big. 1 is less than half. So 21 rounded downwards is 20. 3. 3 also is less than half. 3 also is less than half. So 63 rounded downwards is 60. Here in these examples 46. 6 is more than half. So we have to round it upwards. 46 rounded upwards is 50. 9.50. 9.50 is exactly half of 9 and 10. So we will round it upwards. So 9.50 rounded upwards is 10. 18. 8. Here 8 is more than half. So we have to round it to the round it to 20. So we have to round it to 20. Next 37. Here 7 is more than half. So we have to round it to 40. Here we are having rounding numbers 5 or more let it sort. 4 or less let it rest. Means if the number is 5 or more than 5 we have to go upwards. And if the number is 4 or less than 4 it has to round it to the rest. Here 5 or more let it sort. If the number is 5 or more than 5 it has to go upwards. And if the number is 4 or less let it rest. If the number is 4 or less than 4 we have to round it downwards. Next concept is Hindu Arabic numeral and Roman numerals. Definition of Hindu Arabic numeral sir, is a number system that consists of numbers 0 to 9. In Hindu Arabic numerals, every number is formed by using the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We will use all these 10 digits to form Hindu Arabic numerals. Next, whereas in Roman numerals, we will use these 7 symbols on the Roman numerals. The seven symbols are I, V, X, L, C, P, and F. Where I stands for 1, V stands for 5, X for 10, L for 50, C for 100, D for 500, and M for 1000. Roman numerals. Here, 1 will be written as I, 2 will be written as 2 I's, 3 will be written as 3 I's, whereas 4 will be written as I, V, Y because a Roman numeral cannot be repeated more than 3 times. So, 4 will be written as I, V. And one more rule is there that if a so and one more rule is there that if a small Roman numeral lies to the left of a bigger Roman numeral, we have to subtract. And if a small Roman numeral lies to the right of a bigger numeral, we have to add. So, 4 will be written as I, V. Means, V stands for 5 and I for 1. So 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 and 5 will be written as V. 6 will be written as VI. 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. 7 as VII, 8 as VIII and 9 as IX. And here X stands for 10, I stands for 1. 10 minus 1 which is equal to 9. 10 as X, 11 as XI. 10 plus 1 which is equal to 11. Like this, we go on writing 
and 30. 30 will write as XXX, whereas 40 will write as XL. Why? Because a Roman numeral cannot be repeated more than three times. We will write it as XL. L stands for 50 and X stands for 10. 50 minus 10, which is equal to 40. 50 for L and 60 for LX. Here, L stands for 50 and X for 10. So, 50 plus 10, which is equal to 60. Like this, we will write and 100 for C and 500 for D and 1000 for F. Writing a Roman numeral. A number cannot be subtracted from another number that is 10 times larger. So, I cannot be subtracted from L, B cannot be subtracted from C and so forth. You would never write 99 as CIC. It would be XCIX. XC is 99. Next, the Roman numerals. Large numbers were written by putting a bar over the symbol to make the number 1000 times larger. Example, B bar indicates 5000 means B stands for 5 and bar means into 1000. So 5 into 1000 which is equal to 5000. Next, 6 bar indicates 6 into 1000 which is equal to 6000. L bar indicates 50 into 1000 which is equal to 50,000. Thank you.